You know the saying, what goes up must come down, and that's not always a good thing. Here in San Diego County, a lot of mylar balloons get released into the air west of our local mountains when people celebrate special occasions. Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis shares how this festive symbol is a major environmental hazard for part of our county and a dangerous fire starter across our state. Everyone loves a good party or celebration, but before you release the balloons into the air, you should think to yourself, where does it land? Well, that presents an environmental hazard for the eastern portion of our county. They just slowly descend. You see a little balloon and it just, it just descends in the desert. One time I saw a huge clump, it must have been 12, a dozen, two dozen balloons. And, um, and I just I, I took the, the camera and, and recorded it. You just heard from Seco Rhodes, a staff PGA, research associate at the Steel uh, Bernand and so Borrego Desert Research Center in Borrego Springs. My photographer and I ventured over 70 miles to see this shiny problem ourselves. Rhodes says he and local residents see mylar balloons littering the desert all year round. I see them every single week. I pick them up when I'm doing field work. I see them when I'm walking the dogs out here in the desert in the open uh, landscape. I see them on my hikes, and, um, and so do all the other hikers that come out here. It's, it's a, a very well-known problem for the local uh, hiking uh, people and, and just the locals here generally. Rhodes says up to 8 to 10 mylar balloons can be found on one hike. Even our mini hike, we spotted one. Here's an, an example, and they get stuck in these cacti and shred into little pieces, microplastics. It can be harmful to wildlife. Oh, wow, it's really in there. This yeah, colorful it's festive wild. litter has right. been harmful to wild. the wildlife, including desert tortoises. Potentially you get ingested by animals and just in general litter the landscape. And these ribbons, you know, same thing, it can get tangled up in in animals uh, feet and paws and and also uh, their throats and then they can't eat anymore. The light nature of helium gas allows this environmental hazard to be picked up by our prevailing westerly winds and eventually it deflates in the desert. But this is also a major concern when it comes to wildfires in our state. Uh, PG&E estimated that between 150 to 200 of these fires occur every year because of balloons uh, getting tangled up in power lines because they have this me metallic uh, content. Since balloon releases are a year-round phenomenon in San Diego County, I asked Seco if he had any celebratory suggestions for us. It's better just to do these, these balloons with regular air and just put them on a stick and then stick them in a vase or something like that. Or you could try alternatives like blowing big bubbles or I like that. <laughs> you know, making, planting trees, I don't know, doing more uh, you know, environmentally uh, friendly things. There's actually a warning label on Mylar balloons telling you not to release them into the air. You just have to read the fine print. So the next time you're celebrating a special occasion, just remember to pop the balloon whew, and then go ahead and put it in the trash can when you're done. For News 8, I'm environmental lover, balloon popper, and chief meteorologist Carlene Chavis. Oh, the poor unicorn. But, but you know, after the celebration, <laughs> it has to be done. That is true. And since they are an environmental hazard, there is actually a push to ban the sale of helium-filled bal mylar balloons. So you just really have to take this in consideration, the fact that it is a danger to our environment. Just head to the website banmylarballoons.org to sign a petition for it. A lot of people like them, but mm -hmm. they may not know the cost. That's why I'm glad you brought that story to them to see if, if you don't have it, this is why. Right. Well, as Seiko said, you can fill it with regular air. Yes. You don't necessarily have to do helium. That's so. what I do. It's yeah. actually cheaper. You get it online and then just blow it up. Or other alternatives. <laughs> it can be frugal, balloon, environmental, bubbles, and <laughs> bubbles, plant a bubbles. tree. Lots of different right. ways to yes. celebrate. Yes. You know, <laughs> Absolutely. New stuff can be good. This is true.